This video will show you how to use the switch node to create more versatile tools based on existing geometry nodes and create an asset browser for quick and easy implementation of your desired effects. Let's get started. First, make sure the Blender version you're using to create the asset browser is not lower than the version used to create the geometry node. Delete everything in the scene. Click File and choose Append. Find the geometry node you need. In this demonstration, I'll use the geometry node from a previous video. Click Append and locate the Node Tree folder. I will modify and turn this wave node into a more versatile tool. Remember the wave effect? If you're seeing this for the first time, you can click the link here to learn more about this node's details. Click Append again, and the node will be added to the new file. You can find it here. I've created a cube and added this node to it for adjustments. Go to the Geometry Node panel. and adjust the parameters to make the effect more pronounced. Copy this cube. Recall the function of the X parameter. All right, the X parameter is used to create different variations of the wave at the same world coordinates. Rename it to something more intuitive for easier use. Now, let's focus on this. Currently, the wave only moves along the x-axis, and if I want to change that, I need to reconnect. Which can be inconvenient. Next, I'll use a switch node to simplify this operation. Create a switch node. Set the type to float. Change true to 1. I'll connect it first and explain later. Check switch to make the true value active, and now the connection is active. Otherwise, if it's false and 0, the connection breaks, the wave effect disappears. Place the switch outside and connect these two switches to easily control them. Rename it to something more intuitive. Now, using the same method, add switches for Y and Z. Uncheck the default switches so that Wavy won't be activated the first time you use this node. Of course, you can also make it activate by default. Connect the corresponding positions and rename the switch. Test the effect. Next, the z-axis is the same. Let's skip this process. Here is the part that controls the bottom part not affected by the wave. You can also add a switch. If all these values are set to 1, the bottom will be frozen. Add a switch. Set it to float and change true to 1. Add a combine XYZ or directly connect the output to Tamin. Check the switch to see the result. I want the switch to be unchecked for the free wave state, so I swapped the values for true and false. Place this switch outside and rename it. Very well, no issues. Next, click on this node and mark it as an asset. It will now be recognized as an asset. Go to the Asset Browser, select the current file, and you'll see this asset.
Delete the cube to keep the file cleaner and save it. Here, I've already created a directory specifically for my assets. Create a new folder to organize them and save with an easily recognizable name. Now, in a new scene, let's experience the effect of this versatile tool. First, load the Asset Browser under the File Paths tab in Asset Libraries. Click the plus icon and find the previous asset directory. Add the Asset Library and choose the Link Import method. This means it's read-only mode, which is more favorable for maintaining node-type asset libraries. Append means create a new copy, which is not linked to the versatile tool. Remember to save the settings. In the Asset Browser, you'll find the node we created. Here, it's also set to Link Mode. You can simply drag and drop this node onto an object to make it work. Adjust the parameters. Quickly created some grass swaying in the wind. Similarly, quickly created a bubble floating in the air. Also, a fish swimming underwater is now created. Now, in the Geometry node, in Link's read-only mode, you cannot modify assets used in other files. This ensures the uniqueness of tool class assets. If you want to make modifications, go to the Asset Browser, right-click and open the Asset file, ensuring its uniqueness. Other files will receive the corresponding updates. I made an icon. It's a PNG file with transparent alpha. Under Preview, open this icon. And this tool will have a nice looking. Save this asset file. When you reopen this scene, the node will be updated. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.